doing a curl combo slash hammer combo slash forearm combo. Push it! Hi friends, it is five o'clock and I'm just getting ready to head over to the 18 training center. Um, tonight we are working legs and I'm working with um, Stacey Alexander. Meeting Faith there, and then afterwards I'm going to LBAC to do cardio again. Um, some of you guys were like, why are you doing so much cardio? I'm just trying to get conditioned right now, that's all. I don't normally do this much cardio, but um, I'm just trying to kind of lean out and, um, and just get conditioned. So, Anyways, I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. Um, this raggedy shirt that I got at, I want to say Target maybe? Yeah, I think it was Target. Um, sports bras from Marshalls. These pants are from Marshalls. And my new shoes, New Balance from Marshalls. And yeah, I'm, uh, I wouldn't say I'm like tired. I'm just kind of low energy, I guess you'd say. So yeah, I just feel like I have so many things that I wanna do. Like fun things, but I just don't have time to do any of the fun things. It's all work, so just been really busy with work, but anyways, had a cup of coffee. I think I'm gonna have another one. This Keurig is gonna kill us. I've had like, oh, are the hiccups? I've had like 15 cups of coffee. Tell me if you guys did this. Like for all of you who got a Keurig, did you find yourself wanting to make coffee every like three seconds? Like, oh, just make a Keurig. My husband and I have had like 15 cups of coffee a day. It's a little bit excessive, I know. Anyways, got my BCAAs ready to go. I'm gonna put on my heart rate monitor. Some of you guys were asking about it. It's um, the FT40. Um, just trying to keep me on point. And then um, it just comes with this strap to put around your waist. Don't mind all my dishes. I am not always uh, clean. Anyways, um, let me put this on and then I'll head out. Hey guys, so I just left um, a team. Didn't really do a lot of filming again. Um, but I'm at LBAC now. I'm back at the gym. Creeper, so I was staring at their butts. They had really nice butts. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking because they're staring at me. Oh! Hi! Hi, Brianna! Sweating! I'm so. Hello, friends. It is Wednesday and I'm um, home from work. It was a pretty good day. I am feeling good. Um, sorry, I'm just like getting my stuff ready. I'm making my daily protein pancake <laughs> that I look forward to. Um, gonna put a half a tablespoon of peanut butter on it. And I'm going to, of course, make another cup of coffee. I might have a problem. I already mentioned this before, but I'm officially addicted to this Keurig situation. And my husband was like, I'm so sick of having to fill it with water. Can we just, you know, connect it to a, an osmosis? I'm like, oh God, we're becoming those people. I'm lazy, I don't want to. I don't want to fill up the water. Anyways, um, just getting ready for the gym and I just feel really good. I got an awesome email today. Um, I just feel so, like, I don't know, sometimes I ask myself, am I actually doing all this stuff? Like, all the things that I've ever wanted to do and dreamed of doing are happening and it's weird. Um, but I will say, like, the whole YouTube and, you know, capturing it and taking pictures of it and it just reminds you, you know, kind of where you came from and, you know, what you, um, you know, what you set out to do. So, 
it's important to do that. It's important to look back and go, you know, I wished for this and I worked really hard for it. It didn't just like fall in my lap, you know. Anyways, what I'm getting to was I got an incredible email from Zappos and um, more details uh, to come soon. But um, I love Zappos. They're actually, they have their headquarters here. I believe it's the headquarters here. And um, I order like uh, certain uh, tennis shoes from them. I Typically it's like fitness related that I order from them. But um, every now and again, I'll get stuff for Adam's um, family in Alaska because I love to order and then just ship it. But they have great deals and I mean, you know me, I love me some Marshalls and thrifting. So you can find great things on there. But anyways, just really excited about that. And then I got a gigantic package, I'm assuming from Marshalls. It's in the extra large box. So um, I'll be opening up that soon. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to fill you guys in. Samson's doing good. Hi, Samson and Sophie. And um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me right now. I'm going to meet up with the girls at the gym, so I will film. Tonight we're doing back, and I had um, a couple of you guys ask for some exercises that would be good for working out your back. And everybody always says, like, you know, how do you get rid of back fat? Well, doing workouts are definitely going to help build muscle and strengthen your back. But um, for me, you know, once I really started cleaning up my diet, that's when I noticed any sort of, like, back fat disappearing. So I do think it's the combination of the two, um, but we're going to do some exercises that we love and I'm slowly liking, liking to do back exercises, whereas I didn't before. So I think it's because, you know, once you start to see progress, you like, you know, doing what you're doing. So anyways, got to put some cinnamon on my protein pancake and some peanut butter. And then um, I will take you guys with me to the gym. Oh, and by the way, I got a sample of the Megawatt from First Form, and I tried a little bit of it. It's the pre-workout. Um, yeah, that stuff is kind of amazing, and I'm a little nervous to keep trying it because it's a little addicting. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to need a lot more of it. I'll find it. Anyways, yeah, more on, more on that coming soon. All right, bye. Am I filming? Yes. Hello, we are at the gym now. What a surprise. Um, so some of you guys asked to see some of our back workouts, so I thought I would show you. We've got Edwina on the pull downs. Is this not focused? All right. She's just doing pull downs, and what we did was we started at 55 and then we went to 70, and we just did 15, 12, 10, and yeah. The key is to go down two and then up four. And that's really the killer. And then Faith is doing... Um, we started at 55, then we go to 70, and we do 15, 12, and 10. Same thing. But this one's just really good because it focuses right here. And also the key too, see how straight her back is? That's how you want to do it. Because I see a lot of people like bending and Anyways, muscles, and then, oh, and then I'm doing, I'm doing this thing. Maybe Edwina will film me doing this. I feel like this is really good because it targets your yeah. back. It's a nice variation to hit the high back. So you're on your knees. Do we, do we up it? Up it. Now we're at 80. So you're simply just pulling down, focusing on high back. And we're just going in the circle. You see Faith just doing what I'm doing. I'm about to do what Faith's doing. But it's really good. No strain on the neck. Very easy. No strain on the back. All upper back. adding some biceps in with our back and um, I do it on the ground because I feel like I can control it so if you do it like that you can put your elbows 
right in between and then it forces you to like really look at her bicep. Yeah, yeah. Or you could do it standing. I mean, both are equally taxing. And we just increase the weight by 10, I think it was. And we just go 15, 12, 10 again. And then Edwina's over there doing the lap machine, but I'll do that later. And then I'm just doing some pull-ups. pull-ups do. They attack your entire back. Brutal! Earning it. Lads! This is the final of the three madness that we just did for back. Okay, we have a situation here. We got two girls who are like fiends for gum. That's all they got. Oh, when she said situation, she was not even like exaggerating. Like they're going into dark alleys to get gum, folks. It's getting she serious. The juices are seeping through and then they're like, ugh. It's so amazing. Ah, uh, the joys of being a placebo. So we're doing lats to finish it off. We're doing single arm. Single arm. And you're keeping a little resistance on the resting arm, so it's not totally not being used. Just a little resistance. Same thing, you see a little resistance. And that is getting the cobras. The round of the back. I feel like that's the name of the gang. It is. Cobra gang, we're gonna steal your lunch money. We're doing a curl combo slash hammer combo slash forearm combo. Push it! Push! Good job. Now, hammers. Do it. Doing back. We're just using a big plate. Sometimes you can just use the plates. If you go lower, it's harder because then you hit the ground. But and then we got bicep curls. So we just started. We like to increase the weights. So we started with 15s, moved to 17s. Usually I can go to 20s. But I'm beat, and we just, the problem is, is we didn't start with this. I suggest you start with this, because we just finished our back and all that, and we're exhausted. Anyways. And we just did eight sets of each uh, exercise. So, the rest of the arms, we're doing 20 crunches and 20 sit-ups, right after we're doing what Faith's doing. And it feels like a break, but you can barely keep your hands behind your head. And then sit ups. Samson, get over here with your mustache. Do you guys see that in his mouth? It's that mustache I got from Marshall's. Can you see it? <laughs> oh my goodness, what a freaking workout that was. I am tired. I think this week is like caught up with me. Um, I'm gonna make my dinner. And then I'm working on a blog post. I've been trying to blog more. If you guys follow me, colorblindblog.com. It's all over the place all the time. And sometimes it's like mostly fashion, sometimes it's fitness, sometimes it's my life. But I'm working on a post. Um, I'm gonna post some of the photo shoot pics on there. And also, I'm gonna be talking about. Um, some clean eats while you're at a barbecue. Since 4th of July is coming up, I thought that would be appropriate. What to, not to eat at a barbecue and what to eat. Oh my God, I can't think. All right, let me cook my food and then I'll get back with you. 
tuna salad. I just mixed my tuna with some um, horseradish mustard, red onion, tomato, pepper, and some balsamic vinaigrette. And I'm getting ready to eat.